So what's up everyone, it's Bay Area Throwbacks. Uh, I'm back with another jersey. Today I got a San Jose Sharks, um, a Vander Kane. Uh, just kind of with what's everything that's going on right now with Kane, uh, I thought I might as well show this jersey before, uh, I don't really know what's gonna happen. It's his uh, future with San Jose Sharks and even the NHL in general is kind of uh, up in the air right now. So I said I might as well show this jersey, uh, you know, before, Either he's not on the Sharks anymore or just out of the league. We really don't know right now. Um, if you don't really know what's going on with him, last offseason, it was found out he had a big gambling problem. He uh, owed a bunch of money to Vegas and then all type of different things like that. Um, and now, uh, recently, his wife, uh, I think it was on Twitter, she tweeted out kind of hinting that he might be uh, betting on games and even against his own team, the Sharks. So... Hopefully none of that's true. We really don't know. Obviously they're doing their investigation, but for now I said I might as well show this uh, jersey while this is all going down. Um, so this is the uh, Adidas uh, alternate authentic San Jose Sharks of Vander Kane jersey. Uh, this is actually my first hockey jersey I had gotten a couple years ago. So uh, so yeah, let's get into it. So here we got our jersey. Uh, the material is polyester. Um, so this is the front. You got nice sewn on. Nice big Sark's emblem on the front. You got here, uh, the, kind of the armpit area. You have some mesh. Then it's back to the polyester. We got our NHL symbol right here, which is nice and shiny. If, uh, you get the Fanatic, Fanatic replica jerseys, um, it's it's not shiny like this. The NHL uh, sign is not as nice. So that's what you got right here. You got the little breathable circles up here. But uh, if you look on the actual jerseys that the players wear on the ice, the, uh, these are definitely a lot bigger, these circles, opposed to these um, Adidas Authentics. A lot of people have complained about the Adidas Authentics because they're... Uh, far off from what's actually worn on the ice so there's been a lot of complaints about that i haven't got my hand on an adidas uh team issue jersey or anything i do have the reebok 2.0 edge which i've shown before in the brent burns video but as for adidas i've only had the uh indonesia authentics this is a size 46 uh this is sharks territory says right here it's a climate light uh if you look here on the sleeve they got this cool design which um from what I've heard, I don't know exactly, but I did hear that this is supposed to be kind of like to represent the tech, kind of the fact that, you know, Silicon Valley, the fact that San Jose is in a very big tech area. So that's kind of what I've heard, what this all symbolizes. Here, you got the nice soft teal right here on the sleeves. They got these kind of bringing it back with the old school, one of the old school shark symbols. So they brought those back for these jerseys. It's nice and sewn on. So I'm going to get to the back. And we got the sewn on Adidas symbol. Uh, the fanatics just have nothing in this section is blank. Doesn't really look good to me when it's blank like that, so it's nice to have the Adidas sewn on symbol right here. And you still got the, the breathable holes in the back. Uh, same thing here in the back. You got the mesh here and kind of like the back of the armpit area. And then you got the polyester. On the inside, it does come. The Authentics do come with the fight strap, which is a nice addition since it's you know, if you get it authentic, you do want to have a fight strap usually. So now we're going to get to uh, the numbers and lettering. So this isn't how this jersey came. Um, actually, I'll go over that with you guys in a second. But I'll let you look at the lettering right now, and then I'll explain in a little bit. So we got the nameplate with the cane, just single stitched. You got the double stitched. Teal with the white on top, nine. 
Same on the sleeves. We got our got this double stitch teal with the white on top nine. Kane's number. Same on the other side. But yeah, and then if we go back to these, uh, it is all sewed up. Everything here is sewn. Because sometimes you get the patches where just the outside is sewn, but the inside is just kind of one dimensional. But here you got. It's all so nicely, so I'll show that one more time for you guys. So yeah, so it's um, the one uh, uh, difference between this and the, uh, so one of the differences between the uh, the Adidas and the uh, Reeboks that were before is the, the shark symbol in front is lower on the uh, Reeboks, they're higher up. The Adidas, they're more here. They're kind of getting, they're kind of closer to your belly, um, which isn't the worst thing. Obviously, I'd rather actually, I mean, personally, I'd rather have a little higher up, but you know, it's not, just, it's not really bad. This um, stitching is nice because it ends up, this is the same material feeling as the jersey, which is cool. It's a really nice piece that they did here. Nice and sewn up everywhere. So now we're going to kind of go into my gripe with Adidas. Just real quick, before I go into my issue with uh, Adidas and these jerseys, I do, I just want to clarify that this numbering here, um, I took, uh, I had to take off the old lettering and numbering and take this into uh, the shark store at the SAP center and have them do it for me. Um, I'll explain in a second why and what they can do for you at the SAP, uh, at the store. If you want to get the good lettering and number, but I'll explain that in a moment. So, but just to clarify, this was not how the jersey came. With the lettering and numbering, I took off the old lettering and numbering and like I said, brought it to the shark store at SAP Center for them to uh, put on the new, this lettering and numbering. I'll go over that right now. So this is how it fits. This is a 46, so it fits pretty well for me. Um, definitely a lot better than the white burns if you had saw, uh, seen that video before. But, um. So my issue with Adidas jerseys is they do make a nice jersey. The only thing is what they're claiming to be authentic um, is not exactly what the players were on the ice. And obviously, there's always going to be some differences between the, the authentics and the replicas, or the authentics that they sell and then what you get on the ice. Um, so that's kind of, you know, it's expected. But um, a lot of people, like I said, I haven't actually physically held a... Uh, game used or team issued Adidas jersey, but a lot of people throughout the community you hear have complained about the, there's a lot of big differences. The one that's pretty obvious you could tell is the holes are a lot smaller here than they are on the ice. You can just watch the game and you can kind of tell. But um, my other big issue with Adidas that to me is just not that's just not acceptable at all is the fact that the lettering when you order a jersey that has a uh, number and name it comes a uh, single layered vinyl now I, I remember the first time i went into a mall in san jose and i looked i it was a brent burns jersey when adidas started taking over and the guy said it was authentic and i was confused by that because it, it i've never seen an authentic jersey that was single print vinyl uh numbering and lettering i've seen screen print that's that happened that's real teams have used that in the past football nfl used that in the 80s but to have just a single stitch vinyl that is usually what would be on like a swingman or a replica, to have that on a authentic was crazy to me. And then what I found out is when I went to an actual game at the Sharks Arena, they had the authentics there and they're double stitch. So I said, okay, so when I dug in and did some research, I found out that the Adidas, for whatever reason, just gives you the fakest piece of crap letters I've ever, numbers and lettering I've ever seen. So what I did is uh, the best way to go about it, if you are someone who, who cares a lot about, you know, the numbering, lettering, and having, you know, as close to what the players have as possible, is your best bet is just to buy a blank. The only like a, you can get them online for like 160, a blank authentic. And if you go to the actual Sharks to the SAP Center, you could leave your jersey there at the um, 
shark store that's open on the outside of the stadium and you and they'll send it in for you and they'll do that the person who actually does the official lettering and numbering on the jerseys for the players she'll do it for you it is kind of costly but if that's if, if you're like me and you want it to be as close as uh to real as possible that's you know kind of the price you have to pay so if you go there to the shark store at the sap center you can have it sent in and they will do the authentic lettering and numbering for you that's the same thing i did with the brent burns jersey i had bought that um blank and had it done they, they can do the reebok jerseys uh, up to the exact specifications that the Reeboks were. Same with the Adidas. Same with uh, even I think some of the older jerseys before Reebok. Uh, that's what they had told me. So you can always call in. That you could drop it off, and then they can ship it to you, or you could pick it up. Whatever works for you. If you live in the area near San Jose. Um, but yeah, overall, I just don't understand why Adidas uh, would give you such fake lettering and numbering and call it authentic. That's crazy to me. But you know, that's just so. That's just. Beware for those of you, if you're going to buy it online, unless you see it in person, do not buy the authentics with any lettering or number. And you're better off just buying it blank and just have it get it done yourself. Or if you go to the store or go to the, the game at the SAP Center, they'll have the jerseys already with the actual good lettering and numbering that you could buy. Or at the Shark store at the SAP Center. So, um, and then the other thing real quick, I forgot to bring this up. Um, if you look at the bottom here, if you look on the authentic jerseys, they have like the little Adidas bubble jock tag. The black jerseys, for some reason, don't have them. And all the black jerseys I see, they don't have them. Um, but the white and turquoise do. So if you see a black authentic and it doesn't have that, don't don't be too worried. Because for whatever reason, they didn't put it on the black jerseys. Unless they've changed it recently. I did buy this jersey like a year and a half, two years ago. So at least that's how it was then, obviously. Um, but lately, as I've seen them, it still looks the same. Where the blacks don't have the um, Adidas little circle jog tag. Opposed to the white and teal jersey so i know i've seen some people wonder about that is it fake is it this if you get it from an official site it's real just for whatever reason the black ones don't come with that so that's just a disclaimer too just so you know uh but beside that uh like i said this is my here let's work quick we'll compare kind of where the front is so real quick on the white one i have you see it's a little bit closer to the nhl symbol here here is a little more room this jersey also doesn't have the uh, laces like the white and teal jerseys do, so that could be part of it. But it's definitely uh, more of a gap with the black or with the Adidas jerseys. But beside that, uh, that's the video for today. Hopefully, everything with the Vander Kane goes well. We'll see what happens. But uh, beside that, make sure you're liking these videos. If you like them, subscribe. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.